In this video, we're going to troubleshoot fixing an MSI laptop that's the trackpad is broken or the mouse is just basically not responding any longer. So if you haven't restarted your MSI, go ahead and restart it and see if that fixes the problem. A lot of times it's just gets the driver gets uh, messed up and you just need to restart it. Next thing to do is try the function F3 key. Now I know I've got uh, F5 on here and some, some MSIs use different ones than function 3, but for the majority it's function 3. So what you want to do, you're going to hold down the FN button, which is function, and you're going to tap the F3, F as in Frank, 3 key once by just tapping it. And then see if your mouse will work. What you're looking for is you're looking for a logo on your F, in key, your F keys that has like a trackpad. Like it looks like a trackpad. And like on this F5, it looks like, you know, there's a trackpad. So look and see where you see the trackpad logo and press that one if it's not F3. It could be F9, F5. And if you don't see an F key that doesn't have, that does not have a trackpad logo, just hold down the F N key and try each one, F1 through F12, while the computer's still on, and see if that will fix your problem. Okay, so once you tried that, some some MSIs have the little trigger here on the mouse trackpad right here on the upper left, where if you just tap it twice, sometimes that'll activate the trackpad, and you may have accidentally tripped that up. Okay, next, what you're going to do is while you're still in Windows, on the very bottom left you'll see like a search here where you can type something. Now I know your your mouse is not working, but if you hit tab, you should be able to get down here where you can type something. And then what I want you to do is type in touchpad. And then that should take you to mouse settings and use the tab button or the arrow button to go over to mouse settings and hit enter. And then what I want you to do from there is go to touchpad on and make sure that it's on in the Windows settings and then restart the computer. Next what I want you to do is do a run and to do a run function you just hold down the Microsoft key and hit R, R as in Ralph. And then under run I want you to type control and what that's going to do is it's going to take you into the uh, control panel right here and what I want you to do is hit tab until you get to hardware and sound and enter hover over there and enter and then what I want you to do is click mouse well you can't click I want you to enter mouse properties you might have to use the tab button and then use additional mouse options and then see if that will uh, enable your trackpad you might have to restart the computer okay once you try that go back into run by hitting the Microsoft key holding the Microsoft key and hitting R and then you're going to go into Device Manager, and to do that, you type in D is in David, E V M G M T dot M S C. That's going to take you into Device Manager, and that's where all your drivers are. So you're going to use the arrow key or the tab key to go all the way down here where it says Mouse, hit Enter, and then you should see an option where it says Optical Mouse or Trackpad. Hover over it, and you want to right click. So to right click, if you don't have a mouse, is to hold down the Shift key and the F10 button at the same time. You just hold down the shift, hit F10, and then you scroll down, you use your arrow key to go to properties, hit enter, and then what I want you to do is update the driver. Now make sure you're connected to the Wi-Fi or the internet. You might have to uh, hook it up to an ethernet, but make sure you, you're connected and then, um, and then give it about 10 minutes and restart the computer. Now, if you have like a little yellow key or a little, little yellow sign next to the driver, Again, uh, use your arrow key to go over there and make sure it, you update it or rather you enable it because it may be disabled under the uh, device manager. And a lot of times when you do Windows 10 updates from Windows 8, Windows 7, it may do that and might, might cause that problem. Okay, once you do that, you want to go into BIOS. And then for MSI, what you want to do is turn the computer completely off, power it off and you're going to usually do F2 to get into BIOS and to do that what you're going to do is completely power it off restart it and when you see the MSI logo you're going to tap F2 let's see make sure that's correct
I believe it's F2. Yeah, F2 to go to BIOS. And then see in BIOS if your mouse works, like I'm doing right here. If it does, that's good news. That means you don't have a hardware issue. Your mouse is actually not physically broken. It's just a software issue with Windows. So what I want you to do is somewhere in BIOS, you're going to look for either Advanced on the, on the, on the upper part of BIOS, or look for Trackpad, Touchpad Device, or, or Internal Pointing Device. And then you want to make sure you enable that. And that will give you the option to enable it. And to save, usually with MSI, you just tap F, uh, F10 and save it and restart it. And then see if your um, trackpad will work. If you tried all that and nothing's going to work, the next logical thing, and what I would prefer, is actually just using an optical mouse like this. And so look around your closet, your drawers, an old desktop that you may have. Pull out the USB mouse and then plug the USB into the MSI and it doesn't matter if it's wireless or if it's if it's got a cord go ahead and use that and then use an external mouse as your as your mouse for your MSI um, it may need batteries whatever if you don't have one you can go to Walmart or a local store and purchase one for like 10 or 15 bucks and just use that as your mouse now if you notice that the mouse is not working in BIOS it could just be the hardware is broken now you can replace that fairly cheaply it's more like the, a labor issue and you have to have a little bit of technical knowledge but basically what you want to be doing is you want to take this palm rest completely off. And you usually have to unscrew it from the bottom. And then on this trackpad here, you want to look for a model number. Plug that into eBay and purchase it. Usually, like I said, about 10 bucks, And then reinstall it yourself. But like I said, I would rather use a trackpad. Or rather an optical mouse that you, that you have separate. Alright, thanks for watching. Make sure to put in the comment section which method worked for you. Some people might just have been to just re restart the MSI, or it may have just been, um, you know, uh, doing function F3. But let me know what for, worked for you. Make sure you put a comment in the section, in the comment section. Make sure you subscribe, and if you could, please like it. All right, thank you for watching, and I'll talk to you on the next one.